Welcome guys, in this video we will be looking at the new update 3.1 and the new themed game mode Sky High Spectacle. This new game mode which is available in Arangal, Miramar and Livik. This event mode has a lot of new locations, but let's look at the main one, the Nimbus Island. Yes the Nimbus Island is back, and there will be two of them in your flight path. First island will be in day mode, second island will be in night mode, however, as the time passes the first island will also turn into night time as well. Once you jump inside the Nimbus Island portal, you will be teleported into this floating island, you will get a recall card or respawn card as you enter, however one thing to be noted is that. This will be the main hot drop for this event, and there will be a lot of players, so this place will be filled with chaos and continuous gunfights everywhere, there will be some loot crates around the island, and opening them will give you tier 3 loot sometimes airdrop weapons. There are few new items in this mode let's start with grooving grenade, you can throw this grenade at enemies or at your teammate, once activated it will make everyone dance in its radius for few seconds like this. And the next item is the portal staff, you can activate the portal by choosing which area you want the other portal to open, so you can teleport through the portals like this, this will be useful to open a portal right behind your enemy to surprise attack them, these portals will only work for few seconds later it disappears, you can even destroy them by shooting at them. The next one is a flying carpet, which is a two-seater vehicle that can be carried in your bag, flying carpet has two modes, the default one is a low flying mode, where you can roam around close to the ground like this with 70 speed. And the second mode is a high flying mode, where it takes you in the sky, and you can travel at speeds of 110, and when you press the boost, you will reach speeds of 180. This is a really good way to travel around the map quickly, but the carpet energy will be drained really fast, that's something you need to be aware of. At the center of Nimbus Island you will find magic lamp, it will take 4 to 5 minutes to be unlocked, once unlocked you can summon up the genie, the genie will drop level 3 armor and airdrop weapons, as well as an elegant flying carpet. And a genie respawn card, this genie respawn card will allow you to respawn for third time. Here's where you will find a P90, it's completely redesigned from the old P90 we know from the Livic map, it's now an airdrop only weapon, it comes with inbuilt laser sight and a scope, you cannot equip any attachments to this new P90. Even the ammunition of the P90 is new, it now uses 5.7mm, it only comes with 200 rounds of ammo, and you better use the ammo very carefully, because you cannot find it anywhere else. Here's the damage info for the P90, it is an SMG after all, so its body damage is kinda low, but it can shoot really fast, I will make a separate video on P90 soon. If you want to exit from the Nimbus Island, you can walk towards the exit portals which you can see in your map, which will teleport you to a random location. And now let's talk about the flying boats also known as Sky Treasure Ships. There are two flying boats that will be going through their own paths, which you can see on your map, they will make some stops at these certain locations as seen in the map. You can get into the flying boat like this. You will find some basic loot here, sometimes you may run into other players here, however you can look out from the flying boat and see the Arangal map as you fly through its set path. If you spot someone you can use these cannons to jump or fly towards them. But this main treasure will only be activated at its final destination. Now let's look at Festival Town, there are three Festival Towns on the map, this is a small event location, but you will find pretty decent loot here. And there's a treasure inside this door, in order to unlock this door, you need to trigger some mechanism, such as these plates, you will find these randomly spread across this area, once you activate both plates, you can finally now open the door, which leads you to a crate. By the way, there are 4 auspicious vaults in this mode, you will need a key to open this vault, this key can be found when opening the crates, but this is completely random, if you want to find the key, there's a better way, find a treasure map and activate it, now this will lead you to treasure. So when opening these treasure crates you might find the vault key, and now you can open a vault, this vault is filled with basic loot, but there will be 2 treasure crates inside it, you can hide inside this vault or camp, even if your opponents are waiting for you from the outside, you can actually teleport to a random place just from inside the vault like this. And lastly there's these anniversary celebration places which are shown in the map as birthday cakes, here you can take a picture with genie or pop the balloons with javeline to get some reward loots. And the Miramar map got two new locations, Partona and Truck Stop. Partona is a small town with a lot of houses, this town is kinda circular shape, with approximately 30 houses or buildings in it, this won't be a hot drop most likely suitable for a single squad in my opinion. 
And the truck stop is basically a truck stop that doesn't have a lot of houses, but has big warehouses and a gas station. Miramar also got back the thunderstorm feature. This storm will appear randomly on the map, and if you're in it, you will continuously lose your health. And there are some weapon changes, starting with Ace-32. The recoil has been reduced both vertically and horizontally, and improved firing stability, so overall the recoil should be easier to control now, plus the slight increase in the rate of fire, so now it shoots faster. M762 also got slightly reduced recoil and slightly faster firing animation, I will make a separate video on these and compare before versus after soon. For shotguns there's a major change especially for DBS, the DBS now fires slowly, and the damage is also reduced, I don't have exact numbers, but this is bad news for DBS players. Anyway that's all I got for this video, if you learned something new hit the like button, and subscribe for more upcoming videos like these, see you guys in the next one.